Today we're going to be working with the standard form of an equation. The standard form of an equation is an equation in which all of your variables are on one side of the equation and your constant is on the other side of the equation. We're going to be dealing with linear equations that involve two unknown variables. And here's the problem. Cheryl scored a total of 27 points in her basketball game last night. None of the points came from free throws. All of her points came from either two or three point baskets. We're going to write an equation in standard form to help us describe all the different possible combinations of two point shots and three point shots that Cheryl may have made. So there are two unknowns. The first unknown is how many two point baskets he's made. We'll let X represent the number of two point baskets. And we'll let Y represent the number of three point baskets. So my formula would be 2X plus 3Y equals 27 total points. Now we're going to make a graph in hopes of finding all the possible combinations. Now in order to make a graph you need at least two coordinates. The easiest coordinates that I would use would be if she had made no two point baskets at all. And so when X is 0 I have 2 times 0 plus 3Y equals 27. And then you have 0 plus 3Y equals 27. So 3Y equals 27. So Y equals 9. So the first coordinate would be 0 2 point baskets and 9 3 point baskets. A second coordinate that I could easily graph is if she had made no 3 point baskets at all. So that means my Y value would be 0. And that would give me 2X plus 3 times 0 equals 27. And now I have 2X equals 27. Divide both sides by 2. I get X equals 13.5. Now we know this is not possible. You can't make 13 and a half two point baskets, but we'll use this information to help us find some other possible coordinates that we can use. So this graph is giving us all the possible combinations. However, since we know that we're dealing with baskets, we can only use the combinations that involve whole numbers for X and whole numbers for Y. So with these two coordinates, I have 0, 9, and I have 13.5 and 0. So on my graph for 0, 9, I'll go over 0 and up 9. I'll label that. And then for 13 and a half 0, I'll go over 13.5. OK, so I have my two coordinates. Now, yes, we could use two coordinates to uh, connect them to make a line. But to be safe, I want to use a third coordinate so that my graph is as accurate as possible. So suppose she made, let's pick five three-point baskets. And I'll plug that into my formula. Be 2x plus 3 times 5 equals 27. 2x plus 15 equals 27. Track 15 from both sides. I get 2x equals 12. Divide both sides by 2. I get x equals 6. So I now have six two-point baskets and five three-point baskets. I'll graph that. Now that I have three coordinates, I'll connect them just to help me find some additional coordinates. And let's see if I can get a list of all the possible combinations. And that is where your X coordinate and your Y coordinate are both whole numbers. Looking at this graph, it looks like I have three two point baskets and seven three pointers. I can check that by doing two times three plus three times seven. So that's a possible combination. It looks like I could also try coordinate right here. 9 and 3. I can check that. 9 2 point baskets plus 3 3 point baskets. 18 plus 9 is 27. And it looks like I could also get coordinate right here. 12 2 point baskets and 1 3 point basket. I can check that. And it looks like those are the only possible combinations that could have happened in this problem. So, a couple of questions that could have been asked about. Cheryl's scoring is what is the greatest number of three-point shots she may have made. And looking at our coordinates, the greatest Y coordinate for three-point shots would be 9. And what is the greatest number of two-point shots she may have made? The largest X coordinate, that's a whole number for us, would be 12. Graph was very helpful. And that's it.